after being slaves in Egypt for so long, even having to hide their own faith and religions and working like slaves under hardship, under the whip, under the oppression yeah, of the Egyptian authority at that time. And then, whew, relieved, went out of Egypt and thinking that they will find their promised land very soon. It should have been sooner because it's not far from Egypt to Israel. It's not too far, is it? No, no Master. It would not take 40 years, no? No, no Master. Even on foot? No. But it took 40 years. Imagine how much hardship they had to endure in the desert. They probably brought some provisions with them and planted something, but they never knew if there's rain or if there's water in front of them or not. They had to walk and walk and walk under the scorching sun and freezing nights that they could not even sleep well and all that. And maybe they lost faith in the promise of God. Do you get it? Yes, yes. 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 For anybody, it's easy to lose faith. Look like they could never find their promised land. After 40 years long wandering, lost in the desert, enduring so much hardship, without water sometimes. Because in the desert, you don't always find water. Yes, yes, yes. And then sandstorm could bury you any time. It's not like they build houses like now, that they could hide inside. And not like everywhere they went would have water. Not like everywhere they went they could even settle down and plant vegetables and all that to eat. How much money could they take with them? How much could they trade? How much could they buy in the desert? Yes, yes, yes. So, of course, they sin against God, against the so-called jealous God. But I guess this is not a higher God. Of course, most humans cannot contact the higher God, cannot contact God Almighty, because we are too deep below here. Too deep, too deep. Yeah? All right. Too deep because we bury ourselves in our own wrongdoings, in our unfaithfulness to our own kingdom within. Too deep because we kill so many masters life after life, too deep because we kill each other, numerous, numerous, uncountable numbers, too deep because we kill everything else, all the animals, innocent animals to eat, from the deep sea to the high in the sky, we eat them all. So the consequence is that we are burying ourselves every day. So we hear nothing, we see nothing. Even the Bible is written like that. Don't eat meat, don't drink wine, don't kill all the sheep, sheep and the uh, he belongs to worship me because I don't want any of that blood. And they still do it, to eat it themselves. And on some festivals to worship God, they kill uh, lambs and turkeys, chickens, whatever. To thank God, they, they kill the, the, the millions of turkeys to celebrate Christ's birth, which is a joyous Occasion for life, they kill so many turkeys. You know that, right? And chickens and whatever. Yes, oh, God. How can we expect mercy if we are merciless like this? So even the people in the desert turn away from God and worship the cow instead. Even the baby cow, the calf in gold. Because gold is shining. It's more... Practical is more reality. Yes. yes. Something that symbolizes what they want. Richness, huh? possessions, comfort, yeah, real life. Not toiling around, getting lost in the desert like this. So, of course, they, they grab at the, the, the calf. Even if inside they don't believe, they try to believe that person who says, worship the calf is good for you. Because they're so desperate. Do you understand now? Yes, yes Master. Master. Ah, God, if I were God at that time, I would forgive them. But the thing is, the less they believe in God, the less they will find their promised land sooner. Yes, yes, yes Master. But for an ordinary, ignorant person, how can you blame him? Look at the angels. Fallen, nah? 
sitting next to God, having all the blessing and glory and everything that had fallen yeah. from heaven. Look at our forefather Adam and Eve, fallen. How would we, the ignorant people, not fall? Tell me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So the humans are to be pitied, to be loved, forgiven, and helped. That's why I did not give up. That's why I don't give up, even though I don't know how I continue. Just so much work every day. Sometimes I think, I, I hope I can. Sometimes I feel very dizzy in the middle of nothing. I just wash some dishes and I felt so dizzy. I had to hold on to something. Mm. I was uh, checking some news just in case, in case that you don't know it, I would tell you. Otherwise, I would not be able to explain to you, even though you collected them yourselves. You see, like today, the question you asked about the UFO, yes, <laughs> and about the black hole, I also have to know some of it. Otherwise, I cannot answer you. These are modern things. And a real topic of our world, apart from heaven. People just know much about the world. We have to talk their language. If I just talk about heaven all the time, people think we don't see anything. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yes. Don't yes. see any evidence that heaven exists even. So now I feel sorry for these uh, Israeli people who were lost in the desert for 40 some years and even had many bloody battles in order to keep Israel during the course of all these centuries. Very, very pitiful lot of the humans at that time. And now still have to struggle and fight for survival, for the existence in their so-called promised land. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Master. That life was not as merciful, as lucky as the life we have now, even though we don't have much. And we work a lot, but we still have some peace, some safety. Yes, Master. So for the Israeli people at that time, it's not what we are right now. Imagine, they're homeless. Yes, yes. Master. They're wandering in the desert even. So after four decades long, of course, they lost some faith. And that is also forgivable. Yes? Yes, mm. But never mind. I just hope that God destroyed their bodies, but forgave their souls so that they can redeem their sin that way, yeah, by dying that way. And then their soul can have redemption and restart a, a new life somewhere else in some other body. Okay, huh? Mm. Yes, 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 Master. Okay. So maybe God forgave them in that way by punishing them so that they can cleanse their sin and start new again. Yes, yes. yes Master. Yes. Just like karma, you pay and then you are cleansed of it. But it's just between humans, between you and I as humans, I just explained to you that they are to be pitied, yes, to be forgiven, because they are just humans with the earthly flesh and a simple mind. And they have been slaves all their lives in Egypt. Even their generation, from generation to children, all that, have been slaves for so long. Hardship, under the yoke, under beating, under oppression already. And then they thought they would find their promised land soon. But four decades wandering in such a harsh condition in the desert is not for anybody to be able to hold it together, however strong the faith is. Yes, yes. Moses was a leader. Of course, and he had experience with light and sour and God and all that, of course. And he had more privilege than his people, and he had to be strong. But ordinary people, they cannot always hold on to such a faith like Moses had. So they fell. But God should know that even his angels fell. And uh, his uh, created humans also fell. So the Israeli people, there are just many other generations apart from the blessing of Eden already. So if they fell, it's not a surprise, yeah? 
It's not a surprise. It's very easy to fall in this world. So I want to explain to you. That's why the Taiwanese people or the Indian people, they worship other deities and ask favor from them. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Even though in Taiwan or India, life is not like Moses and his people in the desert, but it can be very hard for many people. In Taiwan, even there are many people who live under the poverty line. The government has to help. And in India, many people live way, way, way below the, the poverty line. You know that, right? Yes, yes, yes Master. They live on the street. The street is their home. If they could even sell things there or do anything on the street to earn a meager living. Very low, very low standards of living. India has many billionaires and millionaires, also and rich people, but has more, more percentage of poor people. So they just worship anything, they call on anything just to help them in time of their desperation. And we cannot blame them. We can only feel sorry for them and pray for them so that they can wake up, so that they can have more blessing, so that their life will become better. Their soul will be more free from the struggle of this physical existence so that they can somehow remember God, remember Buddha, remember their self-nature, so they can seek enlightenment. Okay, huh, baby? Yes. Thank you, Master. I mean, Mr. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> sweetheart, <laughs> don't sue me, huh? <laughs> because I read on the news, uh, one of the, the staff uh, sued uh, uh, Governor Kumo for calling her sweetheart. <laughs> oh my God. In America, they call everybody sweetheart. Sometimes it's just a habit to say, like a friendly address. Like in England, they call everybody love. Okay, my love. Yes, love. Goodbye, love. Like that. To the people, they don't even know. You know, in supermarkets and all that, they talk sweet. And sweetheart is some normal thing to say in America. Yes? Yes. yes. Say he flirted with her and called her sweetheart. Oh, my God. <laughs> what should he call her then? You there? <laughs> you sweetheart or not? <laughs> uh, so. All right, then. So our world is a funny tragedy, okay? Whatever happens, no surprise. As long as we live, we help our fellow beings and the animals. Foremost in my heart is the animals. They suffer too much, nobody cares. They scream, nobody hears. They yell, nobody cares. They get kicked, they get poked with knives, with the forks, or with the spear, whatever, object. They treat them like, just like you treat a stone, with no feeling, nothing like that. Kick them, cut their throat alive, barbecue them alive like that. Oh my God, we have become demons. Many of us have become demons, not fit for Eden anymore, not like humans even. It's terrible. One influences the others, one infects the others, and we have become a demon's race on this planet. One is doing that, the other one is condoning that, the other one is accepting that, and the other one is just ignoring that like nothing happened. 